हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज वीडियो इज पैरल टेस्टिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन सो व्हाट्स द क्वेश्चन इज इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट हाउ कुड यू अचीव पैरल एग्जीक्यूशन यूजिंग टेस्ट एनजी सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अ फ्यू मेथड्स ओवर हियर लेट्स से पब्लिक void and let's say that we have few methods like uh, mm -hmm. let's say we have methods like walk talk and run okay so let's start with the uh, okay let's have uh, the method start with jump and uh, we will be like this so let's say i want this jump method to do a work uh, that it should tell me that uh, she is jumping jumping okay and let's say that uh, we do have few more methods with the let's say uh, run and she is running so i'm just saying that she is running and then i have walk walk method and i'm simply saying that she is walking okay so like that uh for running these methods what we need in test ng we need the test annotation and then we need to import it let's import it from test ng annotation and then we can use the same annotation for these methods to over here let's use that annotation here and save the method and let's execute it so when we executed it over here it has given us that uh, she is jumping she is running she is walking and three uh, methods got run and both are got passed over here and here we cannot tell that these methods are running uh, parallelly or not but how does they are running they are running in sequential manner actually they are not running in uh, parallel way they are running sequentially so how can we get that they are running sequentially so there is a class guys the name class is thread thread over there and uh, okay one second so this uh, class thread it comes with few methods and those methods are let's see uh, we have current thread current thread and dot get id yeah dot get id so before what's the mistake here is there any mistake um, type the thread is Uh oh. Oh, okay. No, T H R E D. It should be correct. What's the issue over there? Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. There is no problem. The problem is here that we need to concatenate it. Yes, that's the issue. Okay, we can concatenate it. There. Oh yeah, right. Exactly. Ah, uh, because uh, we are using. Uh, statement here so we need to concatenate it that's why it was showing error so what thread is here the th this thread is a class but basically what the thread is let's uh, see what the thread is here so uh, actually thread is a path it's a path a path that execute the program okay now we can say a path for program execution program execution is known as thread so uh, what happened that if something some test some methods are running this uh, test okay this test if these tests are running sequentially sequentially means uh, one after another one after another then this uh, this thread will be only one these for each of them the thread id should be only one like one uh, one means same the thread id must be same for each one so then only we can say that these are running sequentially and if the thread id the method i have already written over here from this class and if the thread id is different then it means that the uh, these uh, tests are running parallelly right so let's execute uh, our uh, code but before that i need to mention few more things here let's say i want to get id and i like that i want to mention it here also i want to do 
okay and id and let's say that the id is what okay and here also i want to do the same thing and id and like this okay and let's copy paste this much part over there so that we can get the id for each and every uh, test that will will run let's save it and execute it so what is there basically so in console we can see that all of these methods that we have run over here all of these tests basically they have the same id so having the same id means same thread id okay these all uh, methods these all tests have the same uh, thread id that's why we can say that our met, our test got executed sequentially not parallelly so what should we do for running them parallelly let's go to this class level and let's do right click over here and go to the test ng and convert to test ng and here you can see that it has uh, opened a window over here by the name of generate test ng location suite name test name and then it is showing us over here that the parallel mode and also it is showing us uh, here thread count so by default the thread count is 5 here we can give some number but okay we will not give some number it will show us 5 later on so we can change over there also no problem so let's finish it and now we will open this when we open over here then we can see that there is thread count that is 5 let's say we don't want to put in uh, put that okay so before doing that let me uh, explain we do have suite first then we have test then we have classes right and we have closing uh, opening and the closing tags for each part right so let's say that i don't want to put my thread count here control x and i want to put it in suite level let's put it over there and how do we want to run our uh, test cases we want to run them parallelly so we need to mention over here and we will say equals to and what can we see uh, oh we have already the okay uh, here is born okay we just can say methods inside that right so so if we want to run few methods parallelly we just can say methods or if we have multiple classes we will mention those classes over here and we can write down the name of the class also to see if uh, the class uh, uh, whatever class we want to run parallelly so now uh, for uh, the requirement for today's is that we want to run our uh, this um, these uh, test these tests parallelly so how many tests do we have here we have three one two three so let's say that if i have thread count one what will happen instead of five i'm changing it to one so let's save it and let's execute it so if i'm executing that at thread one thread count one so it has given us the thread id the same thread id it is giving 19 us right now earlier previously it was giving us 111 so that's okay it's because it is auto generated so we cannot do anything with that but uh, the thing uh, is that need to uh, notify here that these are all the same so it means our test get executed uh, on one thread only not on different threads so these are the we can say these are sequential run so what do we need now we have three test over here so what do we need here we need to mention that at least minimum of three thread count we want then only we can consider that our uh, test got executed parallelly not sequentially let's save it and execute it and once we execute what will happen over there so let's see we have given three but it got one 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 okay let me check it once uh, oh, let me run it once again okay now there was some issue i think with my tips so okay no problem so here you can see that uh, the uh, thread count has given us three separate ids for uh, for this uh, run right when we are mentioning that there is a thread count three then we should get if it is a parallel execution of the uh, of, of our test then it should have three different uh, thread ids so three different thread ids are 19 21 and 20 let's uh, run it 
uh, at uh, two two thread count not at three thread count then what will happen what we need to do is we need to save it here and after saving that let's do right click and run as test ng so you can see that uh, if we have thread count less than the minimal uh, value then it is giving us again uh, the same uh, it is running our uh, test on the same uh, thread id it means these are again running sequentially so what we need to do we need to put here at least three or uh, just save it and then execute it okay so now you can see it is giving us a different separate ids let's see what happen if we give it five not three and if we give it five and let's save it and then execute it like by test ng so it is showing us one 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 but actually it should give us here also because thread count we have given more right we have not given less we have given more thread count so it should give us uh, different let's execute it once more once again if it is giving us or not okay so it means okay let's do it once again three because even i got a little bit confused about it why it is doing like that it's showing it again here uh, different and when we are doing five then let's execute it then it is showing us again separate yeah that is basically when we are getting higher thread count it should show us separate so maybe there was like the uh, previous uh, run was in continuation that's why it was showing us 111 so if it is less than 3 if we have three test over here and it is we are providing less than 3 then it can run on the same thread id but when we are providing more number of thread count it should run at different thread ids that is the basic concept behind the parallel testing so guys this was all about running our test cases on test ng for parallel execution so what's the answer for the question is that if we want to execute our test uh, parallelly in test ng then we need to use the thread count and the uh, annotation parallel uh, in our uh, test ng dot xml file okay that is the basic requirement for that and we can say that at suite level we will use thread count and parallel to uh, uh, we can say two annotations for this uh, parallel execution of the test uh, in test ng so that is the answer for this question guys uh, i hope uh, it is uh, pretty clear over here thank you very much for watching please do like share and subscribe see you guys later